hello good morning i tried to use a selfie stick to do this video but i think i need to just talk to you like um it's a glorious morning here in cardiff today and i've just come back from my holiday my enjoyment in santorini whenever i travel on holiday i'm always hopeful on return i'm always hopeful so for some pleasant surprises and the garden never lets me down uh this year i've had so many surprises like quite a few surprises with everything first of all uh my irrigation system <laughs> because i was staying away for only five days i'm going to show you how i managed to pull that off because i left the uk in very hot dry um in fact it was what's the word now the word when everything is dry out like when the river banks are dry now <laughs> i'm having one of those moments anyways yes so i'm back and i'm going to do particularly uh tomato harvest i'm going to do a lot of harvesting but i'll be showing you my tomatoes and i'll be harvesting them right in front of you so stay with me so as i've already started picking a lot of tomatoes from here i like to pick them when they are green uh, when i see that they are almost ready i pick them up and then put them and ripen them indoors um and if, you may ask me why i do that sometimes the birds catch them before you <laughs> by the time you get there you might be a little too big to stick their mouth into it or the insects or whatever so sometimes i just pick them when i see that they're almost ripening i bought about one two three four five six seven eight nine ten about ten ten pots with tomatoes in them this year and um, i'm just going to do a few <laughs> i'm just going to do a few because some of them look like really giant tomatoes so i don't know whether they are all ready but i can see some of them already getting ready so if you come closer yeah if you look at this one you know it, you know it's ready you have to come right in here you know that it's ready because it's almost you can see that one is almost it's not it's not the green it's not the normal green color anymore it's going off it's going into yellow so i'm just going to take that one off and take everything around it i'm going to take this one off as well and that will um that will enable the it'll you'll leave the rest of the energy for the ones that are coming up to um to grow it a bit bigger because you can see the branches were so heavy that they were breaking so that's a lot lighter now and i'll do the same for all the other tomatoes so these ones i don't think there's anything ready here that i can see but it drinks a lot of water i literally yeah let me tell you how i left them when i was going on holiday i literally took the whole plant and put it in buckets and just put a lot of water inside the bucket i literally filled you know tomatoes can survive in water they can live in water they work very well with hydroponics so i just filled it up and i came back and they were a little bit like tired but they cope very well so i'm going to take them out of the, the buckets now and put them where they normally are where they normally sit yeah so i will leave these ones let's go up to the other side i have the peppers are doing very well as well this one took a while to start to, to i waited and waited i planted this sometime in february but i've been waiting all year pepper, pepper, pepper process is so long like if you're not patient don't plant pepper yeah so what i'm planning to do with this is i'll take it into the to the conservatory during the winter and keep it and let it just stay there and keep on going on for me i'll take a few i can ripen peppers can ripen at home as well and it's uh cut and come back again so the more you pick them the more they come for you you see this one is just about to start and there's lots of them on there so i'm still waiting for this one it still hasn't kicked off yet the small green chilies if you don't plant anything plant this one they are so lovely uh they will uh, they will always be something on here for you every time you come you know every time you come 
you'll find something sometimes when i'm just cooking and i just want that little kick i just come here and pick it and it's fresh the smell is lovely it ripens quickly once you take it indoors it's ripened within two three days and sometimes i like to have green pepper and it's like just green i don't like it ripened These are, I'm going to catch that one, yeah, I'm going to pick that one, that one is ready, and I don't know if this one needs a little bit more weight, but it's rolling on the ground, so I'll take it, mm, okay, these ones are full, can you see, I feel like they are the big giant ones, because the top there is still very green, so they, they all need to get into this color, or I don't know, every species is different. So yes, and there's one last thing I wanted to show you that I tried out this year. Let me show you. Come. Show you my Malabar spinach. See, I managed to grow this here in the UK, so I'm going to stir fry it. And it's the red one, very yummy. This was my mommy's favorite vegetable when we were in Nigeria. I don't know where she usually got the seeds from, where she planted it from. But we had this in our garden in Nigeria. So, and um, I found the seeds on Amazon and I just threw them in the pot and left them there. And it's done very well. I know this planting season uh, or the, the harvesting season will soon be over. We're getting into the wet, wet, wet and um, cold, cold, cold very soon. So I have to start enjoying them. I'll just pick them now. And I'll go and make some stir fry with my tomatoes. Yeah. No. <laughs> and this is the dwarf corn here. You can see what it looks like. The little dwarf corn that, that grows in this country. Yeah, you see the see the flower and see the corn. <laughs> in comparison to the corn that we grow in nigeria just so you know and look at even this tiniest one on the ground they're all going to have corn in them so don't look at them don't look down on them although they look so tiny but they are mighty yes mm. ah, this is my little pumpkin yeah the leaves are struggling but I've got something there <laughs> uh -huh. and this that's the other one squash mm -hmm. in Igbo language Igbo people call it uboguru and they even eat the leaves yeah so I'm having a feed problems here but I haven't been home so I can imagine <laughs> yeah there's another one you can see there's another one coming up there so mm, and the carrots are doing so well so can you see carrot down there look look there <laughs> yeah i don't think they're ready yet i'll still leave them a little bit more yeah i have so much to show you but i think that's enough for today i think that's that's enough for today yeah i just decided that i'm just gonna come out and do this video because if i'm waiting for you know the youtuber put your put makeup on and all that this video is not going to happen so i'm sorry you have to take me as you see me okay <laughs> can you believe this okra grew, grew up to this point survived up to this point so um it's all about timing if you ask me with the okra in this country it was it even got to the point of almost being have um bringing out the flowers so I'm, I'm probably still going to take this okra upstairs and put it in the on the window and see if it produces yeah and i've learned a lot this year this year, if I didn't learn anything, I learned about um, um, taking cottons. Yes. Look at Cosmos. If I tell you how much I spend buying Cosmos every year, I didn't realize I only had to buy one or two. And I can mass produce them. <laughs> These are mass produced. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mass produced. I've planted a lot of them in the flower. And they can take me into... Um, October and even November, early November. Yeah. I want to stir fry 
my vegetable that I planted. And this is in front of. Have you started? This is um, violet sea salt. Okay, I'm going with tomatoes first. I don't want to add any top so, Okay, so I'm going in with my everything is going to be fresh because this is only oil and it doesn't need to be too hot. I didn't over um I didn't cut this one too thin because it's going to it's going to lose a lot of water and it will become super thin. So I want it to be able to hold them. I see them, I see them. So I'm just going to enjoy everything. I want them to have a little bit of the seasoning in it, the salt, but I also want to be able to feel the individual flavors of the individual things in there, bursting in my mouth. You can fry your own onion, but I've got already fried onion here. Crispy fried, I like it, it brings its own flavor. So I'm going to in that. and I'll just let that sizzle until the onion is soft. Mm -hmm. I don't want to overcook it. Okay. Hmm. So this is how it turned out. Yeah, and I'm just gonna have it with a little bit of fried eggs. By the way, guys, I've been on intermittent fasting, so I've lost a fair bit of weight. So congratulations to me. I don't know how many kilograms I've lost, but I know that when I saw my summer photos, I looked really slim in comparison to what I was like three, four months ago. I you think I should be, um, I should gain weight in the summer because I eat more in the summer, but in reality, I'm less stressed in the summer. I'm with my family, I'm not going to work, I'm just around the house being a mom and in control of what goes in and out of my mouth. So somehow things are easier for me. I can control the thing that goes into my mouth. And that is the biggest factor when it comes to me losing or gaining weight. Yeah. No amount of exercise can control my weight as much as the thing that goes, that goes through my mouth. If I eat carelessly, I gain weight and taking it off is very difficult. So just a note for you let me enjoy enjoy the, the stir fry join me ah. mm. Mm. sea salt this is so good mm -mm. I had so much um, 
I had so much garden eggs. We call them garden eggs in Nigeria, aubergine or eggplants. I had so much of it in Greece. Looks like a staple food there. And they had the white ones. They had the like white Nigerian garden eggs. So very good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh, that's too big. Is that gonna sit? Mm. Mm -hmm. Going to end it, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Mm. I'll see you in another one. <laughs> Bye. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Mm.